Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to decorate a Christmas tree on a glam, beautiful mixed metal theme. This is one of my favorite videos that I have ever done because you're going to learn a lot of tricks and tips on how to decorate a beautiful Christmas tree DIY for your own home this holiday season. It is absolutely gorgeous with a mixed metal theme in gold and silver, and I'm gonna give you step by step so you too can create a beautiful Christmas tree DIY this holiday season. Well, if you are interested, be sure to stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends because that really helps the channel and it's free, so why not? If you already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss this holiday season. We're just getting started. And also, don't forget to check out my social medias and my Etsy shop. They're going to be linked in the description box below. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so to decorate this beautiful Christmas tree, on a modern theme in silver and gold. Remember, the first thing we have to do is flap our tree. And this one, it's absolutely beautiful. I love all the flocking on it. And however, it does have to be flat because you want it to be as pointy as possible. Now, the other thing is you have to have your tools at the ready. For this tree, I'm gonna use my scissors and my wire cutters. And then also I have my selection of ribbons right here and what I want to explain real quick is that I'm going to use a silver and a gold theme and I chose basically the same ribbon in those two tones and then also I chose some accent ribbons that are more uh, patterned or textured to give it a lot of depth and dimension. Now the other thing I have right here is my wires that I already cut for all of my ornament clusters that we'll be doing. All right, so now that that's said and done, remember to fluff your tree and have your tools at the ready. I'm going to start with a gold ribbon. This is going to be super fun and let me get my scissors out because i thought it'd be easier to do it without them but remember you have to just drop it on the floor and start your ribbon now this is going to be kind of like a half a swirl so i'm going to start right here on the top and i'm going to move down that way so what i want to do is i'm going to cut this first ribbon at a diagonal like this because the wire the, the wider the ribbon is you don't have to really dovetail it as you can see and i'm going to do maybe a two loop bow i'm going to twist it and remember to have all your wires here at the ready so that way you don't have to like be digging for them or cutting them or just taking a lot of time this is going to be super fun so what we're going to do is i'm going to start with this guy right here on the top and because i want it to swirl i'm going to put it right here on the side and now i'm going to grab eight bristle and i'm going to twist it in and then we'll give it a little fluff we're going to come here and i'm going to give it a big loop i'm going to grab a bristle and i'm just going to twist it in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat myself right here. And what I like about these trees, the bristles are really firm and sturdy. So I'm thinking about getting one of these trees for myself just because it is so beautiful. I'm going to stop right here. So I have two loops. Actually, I'm going to do one more. You probably won't see it until the end, but that way it looks finished. All right, so there's two. So now I'm going to grab my scissors. And sorry if I give you my back at any point, but I have to get all the way here on the back. So now what I'm going to do Remember, this is going to be a swirl around the tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch one more time. And now I'm going to do just one single loop because I want to repeat myself so that it looks like a wider, more prominent um, swirl. So I'm going to come here and put it right here at the joint. I'm going to grab and twist. So now I'm going to have an extra loop right here. And so that's going to allow me to cover more of the girth of the tree with a gold ribbon. And so remember to go basically backwards and just give your ribbon a big loop because we want it to really show. So I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna cut on a diagonal. I'm gonna put that on the floor for now because now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in with my silver ribbon that is basically the same mesh. This is a very affordable ribbon, you guys. Let me see if I can see a price right here. It doesn't, but it's it's under $15 for this whole roll. And you will see how it will really cover a lot of the tree and just make a big statement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing. Two big bows. Remember, we want them to show. And twist right here. I was wanting to do something different. I feel like we've done a, a lot of the same the past few years. So for this year, we wanted to bring some more new different ideas to you to help you create a beautiful Christmas. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place it right here and give it a twist. And now we're gonna fluff like this. And now, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that pattern to this side. So I'm going to give it a big loop right here, bring, and then I'm going to follow right here and just folding one of those bristles, you're going to start creating this beautiful pattern that's going to swirl around all of your Christmas tree right here. Like this, then you can fluff. So now I'm going to grab my scissors one more time and cut right here at a diagonal, leaving a long tail. It is very important that you leave a long tail so that it looks finished. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it one more time. So give it a about a five inch tail. And now what I'm going to do is just one single loop. We want to repeat everything that we just did with the gold. We want to repeat it with the silver. So I'm going to grab a wire, pull back. This is the best technique to attach to your Christmas tree because it gives you this wire that you can put it anywhere. So remember, we're going to go close to the right here. So I'm going to put it right here. So it looks like it came from this joint right here. So it's going to give you an extra loop. And so now I'm going to pinch right here, find a place like that and continue to swirl like this all the way down if you must like this. That's perfect. I'm going to cut one more time. I'll fluff these ribbons and I'll be right back to give you the next step. Keep watching. All right, so we are done with the mesh ribbon. And as you can see, it's getting a swirl pattern that goes to the side. Now, the next step is going to be adding a more substantial ribbon that has a little bit more, um, it's a, a smaller width, but it has more blocking on it. And so we're gonna use a gold and a silver, and then we're gonna use a pattern of gold and silver, but we're gonna leave those till we are completely done with the tree and it's just going to be an accent. So I'm gonna start with the gold and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop it on the floor like I did the other one because it is easier than having to worry about, um, you know, keeping the roll because you're gonna use most of it anyway. So we're gonna give it a cut in the diagonal and for this particular one, what we're going to do so it really shows, I'm gonna give him two loops to all of them. So I'm gonna stop right here and actually, you know what, we're gonna do three. So they really show how pretty is this going to be, you guys. There's going to be so many ornaments and ribbons, and I really do think you're going to enjoy this modern silver and gold look for Christmas. So I'm gonna start right here on the top. I'm gonna start in the very top, and this is creating our topper right here. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna do a little loop like this. Fluff, another little loop like this. And what we're going to do is just one third one and remember to go with the pattern that you're creating right here on your tree. So you have to follow that shape and then just fold that right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here and I'm going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to cut right here, give it a little fluff. Remember, we always fluff all of our ribbons towards the end because it's just easier that way. All right, so I'm going to do one, basically just go under gather pinch fluff under gather pinch fluff grab a little wire it's so essential that you guys have all of those tools at the ready so that way you're not where's my scissors which has happened to me before i'm not gonna lie all right so now i'm gonna go right here and i grab this bristle and then i'm gonna tie and look how it looks like it just connected and it looks like it grew out of it so remember to go to this side and we're gonna do a loop right here then I'm gonna move over, give it about eight inches, create another loop, and then right here, and then just bend to secure like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come and do another one right here and just bend, secure, and then we're gonna cut. Sorry if I'm disappearing from your screen, but we're trying to keep that swirl and I have to go sometimes all the way on the back. So I'm gonna do one more time, so pinch, how are you doing by the way are you enjoying this christmas season i cannot wait to read your comments so let me comment down below and let me know which project has been your favorite and actually how did you find ramon at home what were you looking for were you looking for christmas fall i just want to know how you find this channel and i'm just so glad that you're here i'm so thankful for you to stop and watch these videos all right so i'm gonna go right here in the back now i'm gonna go right here on the top one more time and i'm gonna pinch and then swirl Remember, we'll fluff our ribbons. I cannot get tired of telling you that because if you stop and fluff your ribbons as you go, it's gonna take you way longer. 
So I'm gonna go right here, do a loop, and then just pinch like that. I'm gonna do another one over here and pinch. And so now I'm gonna cut right here. Let's see, where are we at? That's looking really good. It's really filling out. I feel like there is a void right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a three loop bow. This is about filling as much as you can from your tree. So I'm gonna do a three loop bow right here. So it looks like an accent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna repeat on the silver side and I'll be right back to show you the end result. I just wanna take a second to mention how beautiful this ribbon is, you guys. It looks like liquid metal and it really starts to cover some of those buoys that the mesh did not. The mesh is just to give you that glitter with the lights and the glisten and this is to cover a little bit more of the tree and it's starting to look really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here. I'll show you one real quick and then I'm gonna speed it up so you guys can see uh, what's next. But just for the purpose of the video and for you to learn. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna grab this bristle right here. I'm going to twist into it and I'm gonna fluff a little bit, but we'll be back to that. And then remember to follow this pattern that you're doing or you're creating, which is this swirl. We want it to really be a dividing factor right here. And to do that, we have to go back in with this more solid ribbon to create, I'm gonna cross real here to create that division between colors, all right? If you leave it just with the, with the shear, you won't be able to see it. So to create this effect, you have to go ahead and do a solid one. So that way it looks divided all throughout. And you wanna do that all the way to the bottom. So that way there is a clear indication that is doing that pattern into your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna cut right here. And so I'm gonna continue to do this all the way around and I'll be right back. All right, so at this point we finished with the ribbon and as you guys can see, you can see more of a clear indication now of what we're doing. I'm sure you were lost there for a second. It's like, what is Ramon doing? But now what we're going to do is we're going to add some ornaments and for that, I'm gonna start with these big ones and I wanna show you a trick real quick. So I lost the cap of this one and what I did, I just grabbed a wire and I twirled it around and sipped it together with the wire to attach it. And I'm gonna start right here on the bottom and that ornament is gonna stay right there. So then for the next ones that they do have a cap, what you need to do is grab your wire and go in through this hole on the cap, then twirl it around a little bit to make it stay. So now I'm gonna remember to do a zigzag motion. If you guys have not seen the beautiful Christmas tree that we did with the roses and all the florals, I'm going to link it down below and somewhere on the screen so you can see it because it was really absolutely stunning. And I explained some of this zigzag uh, motion um, patterning on your Christmas tree with these big ornaments. These big ornaments are basically just to fill in some of the bigger holes here on the tree. And I'm gonna do one right here. So I'm gonna come, let me see, I'm gonna come right here. Cause I wanna kinda to stick out. Yeah, I want it to stick out right here, but I'm going to open some. So I just basically want you to see it on the side. I'm gonna grab a bristle and then just pull it in. Leave it like that. So you can see a little bit of it, just a peekaboo. There's going to be some florals, so pick that will hide some of it. Okay, so to add the last one, I wanted to go a little bit more above. And remember that we're talking about a zigzag pattern right here, but I also wanted to fill in some of my trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna dig in here and I'm gonna pull it as far in as I can into the tree. So it kinda keeps the shape of the tree, but you can still see some of the ornament right there. And then I'm gonna grab one of these bristles and I'm gonna pull on it and just twist a few times so that it will stay. And these ribbons and all of the picks and the florals will help me disguise some of that as we move on. All right, so the next one that I'm going to do is going to be a gold, but it's more of a matte color. But for this particular one, you guys know, I'm kinda known for the ornament clusters. If you don't know what an ornament cluster is, if you have not seen that video already, I'm gonna link it down below. Actually, you know what? Let me show you a real quick clip. All right, everyone, to create these fabulous ornament clusters, what you're going to need is a variety of sizes of ornaments. I've chosen some glitter ones, 
some shiny ones and some matte ones and then also i've chosen different sizes on ornaments as you guys can see i have four different sizes and then what you're going to need is wire cutters to cut your wire already like i told you before i have my wires pre-cut so i want to go ahead and get one this is about probably about seven inches then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your first ornament through now you're going to bend it right here and you might want to twist it because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we put all of our ornaments in varying sizes you don't want all of the sizes at the same time because then it will not look like a cluster think of it when grapes grow in a vineyard not all of the grapes are the same size and that's what makes them look really really unique so i'm gonna go ahead and add the last one right here and i'm going to add this tiny little one at the end all right so i have this cluster kind of looks like a grape now here's what you want a longer wire because what you want to do is you want to pre-make other ones and to make it longer what you need to do is just twist this wire together like this and then you grab another one and you continue to go up like this and you just grab another one and you continue to go up like this and we're gonna grab the last one and i'm gonna put it right here and i would use this wire right here to attach to my tree as you guys can see i left enough wire and you have this massive cluster of ornaments that you can use as an ornament in your christmas tree and it's going to add so much character so now that you know how we make these ornament clusters so you're gonna create some with different patterns and textures of ornaments so i'm gonna do three but actually i want them to be all different so i'm gonna grab this one right here and i'm gonna put them all through the wire like i showed you in the video and now you have these three ornaments and i'm gonna start filling in some of the gaps like right here and i'm gonna make sure that i pull really tight in to kind of create depth and dimension like that i'm gonna grab one right here and twist it and look it all stay right there it all fill in the gap and it's starting to create that really full look that i want and i'm super excited let me show you one more time i'm gonna take it right here and then just basically bend it so you have a longer wire and now what you need to do is you need to introduce some of these ornaments one of each to create more texture and so now i'm going to put this one towards the top because i want it to really fill in right here so i'm going to add this one put it right here so you can see it on the side and as you guys can see it's starting to fill in the gold side and remember we're gonna fluff all of these ribbons towards the end but look how beautiful it's looking so i'm gonna do one right here to show you one more time this is so much fun you guys i really hope that you are enjoying this video and learning a few tricks on how to create a beautiful christmas tree you and your family deserve to have a gorgeous christmas tree this season and i just hope that you are learning a few tricks to do that for you and your family and to wow your friends and your jealous stepsister <laughs> all right so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna put this one right here i'm gonna make sure that it goes all the way in like that we'll fluff these ribbons and see how it's filling out the gold side so now i'm gonna do the same on the silver side i'll be right back keep watching i really hope you guys are enjoying and learning a little bit on this video on how to decorate a beautiful glam christmas tree diy step by step but now i want to take a second to invite you to join me on my instagram for daily insta stories behind the scenes and all of the things that you don't get to see here on my youtube channel the links to all my social medias in my etsy shop are going to be linked down below and also i want to ask you the question of the day which is what is your christmas theme for 2022 i cannot wait to read your comments let's get back to the video voila so now i'm gonna do one more this is super easy and it really is creating that beautiful look that i wanted to show you guys this time so now i'm gonna do one right here on the side and remember to kind of fill in that gap too and i have another one that i'm going to use and i'm going to bring it a little further up to make sure that i'm filling in all of these gaps so let's see i want to add it maybe right about here by this bow so i'm gonna push it in as much as i can then grab that bristle and twist and like that so now i'm gonna bring all the clusters i'm gonna put them in and i'll be right back to show you keep watching okay so now i have my silver ones and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna grab one of these bit larger ones and i'm gonna introduce the wire this is very repetitive you guys 
sorry if I'm boring you, but it really is so fun to watch the whole process. It is one of my favorite things to do this time of the year, just watch how others decorate their Christmas trees. And I do want to mention that the, remember to have different patterns and textures. You see right here, a big shiny one, a medium matte, and then this really beautiful silver with the sequins that I absolutely adore. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to look for a gap right here. I'm going to move my ribbon and I'm going to introduce this guy right here to kind of start filling in. See those gaps. So now I'm going to do, I feel like there's a void right here. I'm going to do yet another one right there. And there's going to be some picks and florals that is going to really throw over the edge this look. And I really do think you're going to enjoy it. But before we do that, we have to finish our clusters. All right, let's see. So I feel like this one could go right here and I'm going to stick my hand here through the ribbons and pull really tight. And I'm going to go and grab one of those bristles in the back. And remember, look how my hands are all the way in the tree just to make sure that I attach that and it doesn't go anywhere. And remember these ribbons, I don't get tired of telling you, we're going to flap them at the end just to make sure you know they're not going to look like that. All right, you guys, so it's time to recap. So the very first thing that we did is we fluff our tree, of course. We added the ribbon going in a circular motion or twirl motion. And then we added the big ornaments and clusters of ornaments on both sides and the silver and the gold. And so now the step has come to add our poinsettias. And I have chosen the exact same flower, but in different tones of silver and gold. But remember, we always start with one with only one flower at a time. So that way we know what gaps we are filling in. It is very important to have a filled in gap. And then also it's very, as equal as important it is to fluff your poinsettias. These are pretty full. They're super long. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bend it in half and I'm gonna start adding and kind of covering some of those gaps as you guys can see. And remember to go all the way from the top. So I'm gonna start right here on the top and I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom. You need about, I wanna say six to eight poinsettias on each color to fill in, but remember to fluff them really good. So this one I'm gonna leave long like this because I want it to go down and I'm gonna put right here on the silver side and we're gonna make sure that it goes all the way down like that. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a zigzag motion or pattern. I like to call it pattern. I don't know why I continue to call it motion, but it's just a pattern. And remember to fluff all of these poinsettias. So I'm gonna move over to this side. Remember a zigzag motion right here. I'm gonna fill in this gap, leaving this poinsettia right here. And so now I'm gonna move over to the front one more time. This one I am going to bend in half. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right here. Actually, I'm gonna bend it in a third because in half is poking out. There you go. So now we're gonna put this guy right here, making sure it protrudes forward. So one more time, we're going to add this poinsettia. Remember about, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, about seven of them. So now I'm gonna move over to this side. I'm gonna add this guy right here. And what bending and also does is like it creates a hook. So you can put it all the way in and then stick out a little bit. I'll show you in a second. That way it will hang on to the tree. So basically you just go right here. Now, because I put this one right here, I have to move over this way. So you go all the way in and then you pull out and you hang on to the tree right there. And then I'm gonna add the last one to the very bottom, but not without fluffing all of these guys because when they come out of the box, they come very flat. So you wanna make sure you're getting some character. Take your touch, take your time to attach every single wire. And I'm gonna bend this guy right here. So now I'm gonna come over to, let me actually go to the, front and see where do I want it. I think I want it over here on this cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it right here. Perfect. See how that's starting to fill in. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing with a gold poinsettia and we're going to start remember from the top. This looks like a leather, like a gold leather and it's so beautiful. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to give it a little curvature so it latches on. I'm going to start right here. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that is turning out so beautiful. I'm so glad that we're doing this. Idea has been in my head for quite a while. You know, that is one thing that if something's in your head, just get it out, give it a try. The worst thing that can happen is that, you know, you have to go out and buy some items, but hey, it's the holidays, you guys. We have to do it because if we don't do it right now, we're gonna have that idea in our minds for the rest of the year, like this tree has lived in my mind for the rest of the year. Okay, so now like this, I'm gonna put one right here. 
So I'm gonna fluff. This is turning out so beautiful. I cannot wait for you guys to see the end. We have a few more poinsettias in the gold. I'm gonna add those and be back to give you one last step. Keep watching. Okay, so now that we're done with our poinsettias and it's filling up our Christmas tree very beautifully, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some magnolia to it. And I chose this almost um, like a gunpowder gray because I figured that it would be a really good contrast. And then also this gold one, which is more of a champagne. You have to have there some texture to divide the colors. They serve kind of as a highlighter, but let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna start with the silver one because it is a darker silver. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the same thing that I did. I'm gonna look for holes at this point and then I'm just gonna go down on the tree and look what that does. It just adds a different kind of gray and it helps you highlight the other color. And at this point it's getting really tight in here. So I'm gonna to have to move some of those ribbons and keep pushing forward into my tree in the shape that we're going for, which is going to be this swirl motion. I'm gonna add one right here to divide the gold and the gray and then I move over to this side and I'm going to add yet another one. So I have one, two, three, four of these magnolias and five. I think five will do because I just wanted to kind of separate all of the gray. So I think this looks beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to add this gold or more like a champagne magnolia. Let me grab all of them. This champagne magnolia is going to serve as the same highlighter for your tree. So I'm going to start up here on the top. This one has a short stem, so it should be really easy to insert. Um, and then I'm gonna look for holes like right here. So I'm gonna add one right here, making sure that it stays where I place it. Just divide them all throughout the tree to make sure that they add that texture. We're looking for texture at this point. Let me see, I'm gonna add one right here. And actually I'm gonna use this wire right here that I see that is hanging out to kind of attach it. Oh my God, it's looking so good. Okay, so now I have to move over to this side and I think I'm gonna add this one right here next to this. Let me see where I can see a hole on this tree. Oh, right here. I'm gonna flip this guy, move my ribbon. I'm going to insert this magnolia. How beautiful is this, you guys? It's looking so good. So now I'm gonna add the last item and I'll be right back with you. All right, well, the last item I'm gonna add to this Christmas tree is going to be our flyaways or our stems. I have chosen this black pewter gray as the other magnolia. I thought they would be really good with it. And then also this different gold. It's all about getting the textures right and getting different textures in the same color scheme to create that beautiful pattern onto your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna start with gray ones and remember to just give them a little fluff. Look how much bigger it gets if you just give it that little fluff. It takes a second to go from flat to alive. And I really do recommend to follow that step. For this particular step, I'm gonna start right here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go right here where this ornament is. And I'm gonna insert one. I have one, I'm, I'm gonna count them in a second. Two, I'm gonna add this guy right here. The, remember, this is what's gonna give it the depth that you need into the tree. And it's gonna make everything else bounce because it's going to give it dimension. Your eyes gonna travel all throughout the tree. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to this side. Remember to keeping that zigzag motion or pattern into your tree. So one here, one here, one here, one to the left. What happens on the left happens on the right and what goes up must come down. All right, so I'm gonna add one more right here. I'm gonna now right here on the top and that one's gonna have to come upside down. Remember, whatever goes on the top needs to be upside down. So it gives you that point at the end. So I'm going to add this guy right here, making sure the latch is on so it stays. We don't want it to come crashing down on us in the middle of our Christmas dinner. And look how beautiful that looks. I think I'm going to add the last one over on this side to create that tree shape. I'm going to grab a few more of this particular one. I'm gonna go right here and see how adding these longer stems helps you hide some of the items and then also helps you with the dimension that we're looking for. I'm gonna continue adding these stems and I'll be right back to show you the end result. All 
Okay, you guys, before I let you go, I wanna give you one last pointer, and that is to create that really good divisive line. What you need to do is make sure that you have some touches like this goal right here that really do make that line um, very firm. Like you can see right here, I can use a gold one right here because I wanna make sure that you see that line really good. So I feel like I need one, another one right here. You wanna grab a goal that is very, very prominent. And as you can see, that gave it that line. And what I wanna do now is move on a few inches to the other side. And I wanna do the same thing with the silver. So basically all you have to do is add a few silver stems. They don't have to be very long, but you want them to be very, very silver and very, very gold. So that way it does create that line going down all throughout the tree. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fluff this ribbons and show you the end result. Keep watching. Okay, so I just wanna show you the end result of this beautiful modern Christmas tree theme in silver and gold. You guys, check out how absolutely well stunning this turned out. I'm gonna do some zoom-ins. I wanna show you some of my favorites, which is this poinsettia and the magnolia over here. Look how absolutely well stunning. All of the picks, as you guys can see, and ornament clusters and ribbons add for a gorgeous theme. I'm gonna go over to this side so you guys can see the silver. And I wanna mention this pewter looking silver magnolia and this beautiful metallic poinsettia add a perfect touch for these gorgeous Christmas trees. And I cannot wait to read your comments. You guys, this is perhaps my favorite tree that I have ever done for Christmas. What do you guys think? All right, everyone, well, that is it. And I really hope that you enjoy this beautiful Christmas tree DIY on a glam, beautiful mixed metal theme. I had so much fun sharing this video with you guys. As I'm sure you know, I also love Christmas and I really hope that this inspire you to create something new, something out of the box and something absolutely spectacular this Christmas season. I'm going to leave a whole playlist of other Christmas trees in the description box below along with my social medias so you guys can check those out next. And if you have not seen the Grinch Christmas tree, which was probably one of my favorite trees that I've ever done here on the channel, I'm going to link it somewhere here on the screen and as well as down below for you guys to check it out it was an absolutely different theme and the way that we put it together was just so much fun also don't forget to answer today's questions which is what is your christmas theme for 2022 and how are you decorating your home i cannot wait to read your comments well that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and as always you can watch more videos right now until next time bye